It's just entertainment purpose. It's not. It's just entertainment purpose. It's not. In the case of anybody. It's just entertainment purpose. It's not. Hi, hotties, kettles, teasters. You're here for hot tea. All commentary is alleged. And in my opinion, this is for entertainment purposes only. Today, we are going to be reporting on a lot of unfortunate news for a lot of the Love & Marriage Huntsville cast members. Y'all know I have decided to not review Love & Marriage Huntsville anymore because it's fake. They're not showing the real show. Nobody has spoken out about walkie talkie. In fact, Carlos seemingly even was in support of walkie talkie, which we will talk about in another video, but it just seems like we can get all the real tea about the cast on social media. So it's no need for us to even watch the fake buffoonery that they're going to even try to show on the TV show. With that being said, y'all know I have to kind of take breaks from the content that I post because it can be very draining. I also decided to tweak and change a few things about the channel. One being when we talk about all of this celebrity drama, and reality TV star drama. I want to end it with like a teachable moment. So y'all, let's get into it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, hit the post notification bell so you are updated each and every time that I upload. So we all know I really don't like Stormy. She's shady. She's untrustworthy. She's too hood for me. She's just distasteful as a whole. But unfortunately, it seems like she has been hospitalized and I don't wish nothing bad on no one. However, Stormy is such an actor it genuinely is hard to tell what is actually going on with her. I also want to know, do y'all think they're going to be showing this on the show? Do y'all think we're going to be seeing a little bit of what actually happened behind the scenes with her being hospitalized on the show? Because realistically, we get the real show on social media. They don't even show none of the real stuff that actually be going on in these people lives. Now, the reason why I say I just don't really know it, Stormy, because it just seems very ironic that now she is being hospitalized the very same day that she was reported to the police or a police report was put out on her or something of the sort but we're going to talk about that in a whole nother video i'm telling y'all y'all i'm going to be doing them back to back today we are going to definitely end may off with a bang because love and marriage huntsville just cannot keep their castmates under control stormy also took the time to respond to a few of the bloggers on youtube today and i just don't understand my love okay just hear me out I had been super, super sick one day, okay? Very sick to the point in which I couldn't even touch my phone. Throwing up. Your girl, I be on my period and I can't touch my phone. So I just feel like when you're going through something as serious as this, a lot of times you're not even finna be picking up the phone to see what's going on, especially not bloggers. But we are gonna get into it, y'all. I want y'all honest opinion on what y'all think is going on because I'm not gonna say that the girl is not having health issues. All I'm saying is, is it as serious as she's making it out to be? Considering she has time to respond to negativity and not stay focused because let's be real, real like she's a mother a businesswoman. you don't have time to be picking up your phone responding to bloggers when you having a health crisis as big as you are saying that it is on instagram so like i said i don't wish nothing bad for the girl i wish the girl you know heal is healthy i want stormy to be healthy i don't want nobody to be sick or have any deadly illnesses or anything like that i don't think it's nothing to play with which is why i want to investigate this even further because y'all do know or remember that her good friend Dusty Dan had started doing interviews and started doing um, speaking engagements about fibroids, which I do think is a good cause and a good thing for her to do. But we don't know anything about Destiny. My only thing is, did we know Destiny to have issues with fibroids? So it was just very ironic. Like after the fact, she's doing all of these interviews interviews talking about fibroids but we don't know if you had ever even dealt with fibroids or not I felt like that would have been something to express on the show if even but you didn't really tell us anything but I digress that's really besides the point stormy the people are knocking at your dough love 
Okay, let me stop because I don't want to see nobody go to jail. But allegedly, there has been new developments that there have been people harassing Miss Black Titanic, so it had to get escalated. But like I said, we're gonna talk about it in a different video. So yesterday, after Miss Black Titanic let the world know that paperwork was put out against Stormy. She then posted literally a few hours after that or even a few, literally maybe like an hour after that. On her Instagram story, it said, literally today been so crazy. Got admitted as a sepis alert. White blood cell count 22, heart rate 38. So glad I went in today. Tomorrow could have been really bad. So again, blessings to her because don't nobody want to see nobody hurt. She then says, woke up with severe body aches, massive headaches, chills, fevers, 102 to 103 and extremes and an end and extreme sore throat all my texts came back ne all my tests came back negative at, at urgent care but my white blood cell count was 22 they admitted me to the er sepis alert due to my system it's crazy because m this morning i almost convinced myself i didn't need to go to the doctor another 24 hours and i i'd be telling a different story it really rocked me today i literally i'm literally facing something massive which i'm not saying that it isn't anything serious because people have died from this but again stormy is just always seemingly looking for sympathy when it's time to be held accountable for her actions those actions would be sending people out to threaten an elderly woman she then says um and i was about to convince myself i was fine so i could keep working and if it wasn't for the body aches and chills, she wouldn't have even went. So she gave us a short little clip and it was just really nothing, just her recording herself. And then she wanted to post information on what it actually was. Y'all can pause and read if you need to. So to me, here's where it kind of gets odd in my opinion. So after she gave everyone that big scare, all of her followers, she then took to her social media today and said, I honestly miss the days where I could share one only on social media without everything being made into so much more. Since I posted I was in the ER, I've been or I've seen comments that range from that's what she gets to she's lying to people thinking it's funny. I think most people and let's be clear because she's always intentionally misinterpreting what people are saying. I'm assuming that people were saying and I'm not even assuming I have been in the YouTube streets. What people have been saying is that's what you get about the police report. They have also been saying that's what you get about the um, health department coming over to your warehouse. Nobody on this platform had said that's what you get about an illness so again here she is trying to already sway the narrative and this is just why I don't like her she's always trying to pull for sympathy instead of just being real about what's going on and like I said it's just very ironic in my opinion that the 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 information was released that the paperwork was put out about you know for to the police and then literally like a few hours later you are posting pictures of you being in an ER. And I would have even believed it, but you literally took the next morning today to address negativity. So you're not even going, you could have literally just ignored everything, gave it a few days to die down. But again, you just don't know what you're doing with your platform. Because in my opinion, it's disingenuine. Like I'm not saying she's not going through a health issue, but what I'm saying is, it's kind of like dramatized. She then said, the worst is people trying to tie a legitimate infection to the stress of being on television i honestly wanted to share this to encourage people to not wait even you even if i don't know what she's saying even you think you will be okay because i almost did that today and to spread awareness on stss which comes from something common like strep throat she then made another post that said if you're admitted to the er with systems of fever increased rate heart rate, increased white blood cell count, etc. You meet the criteria of sepis alert when 
put on Sepis Alert, they have 60 minutes to get a lot of things done because time is of the essence. And then in her next post, she posted a little bit more information on what this actually was to inform the people. So to make matters worse, what does Stormy do? She then posts screenshots of all of the comments that responds to the negativity. So I'm pretty sure Stormy has a few people that talk about positivity and that are really positive toward her but I want y'all to notice how she never acknowledges those people but claim to be this positive ass person she is a damn liar and I'm sorry a lot of people like to use illnesses to distract from the fact of issues that are going on in their real lives and this is somebody that is doing that again I'm not saying that she is not dealing with what it is that she went to the ER for but what I am saying is is all of this is very dramatized and very ironic and coincidental of the timing. That's it. That's all. So somebody DM'd her and said, I don't know why people think this is a joke. My mentor dealt with this last year and it was very random and scary. His doctor told him he could have passed away if he didn't come in that same day. I've never even heard of it until he posted about it last year. So she did post somebody that gave her some positive well wishes and good for her like I'm saying like I definitely want Stormy to like you not go through any harsh health issues I definitely want her to heal through all of this get well or whatnot but in my opinion she's dramatizing all of it and she's using this as a way to gain sympathy and empathy from the viewership in the crowd somebody also said you can just tell Stormy's position with everything because how everything is panning out for her and if she is trying to use that as a means to say people are wishing ill on her or saying that's what she get that is not what people are saying at all people are just saying look how hard you went to get on a platform look at the people you were willing to use and abuse and look at just the outcomes of things that are going on right now we are not saying this is karma. We are not saying this is what you get. We are saying you need to focus on yourself and redirect your energy because what you are putting out, it seemingly looks like you're getting that back. And that's something that a lot of people don't like to realize. But again, people need to still be held accountable even when they're going through hardship. So we're going to talk about Stormy upcoming charges in my next video. I also decided to leave two clips here in this video of Stormy plotting against Mill and when she first came around when she was at Madani and how nasty and wicked she was to Miss Black Titanic. Y'all take a look at these two videos. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, hit the post notification bell so you are updated each and every time that I upload it and you can be up to date with all of the latest Love and Mayor Chanceville drama. Let's see your I don't. I don't. I don't have an issue. I don't have an issue. I don't want an issue. I don't got an issue. No one one. I think it's weird. We weird. If anything, I think we have more in common than we have not. And I promise you, I know what you're talking about, but it ain't what it is. I promise you it's not. If you, you have no idea, it's not. I'm serious. I promise. This is the picture. Because every time I've been on live, I've always said I don't have issue with this. Every single time. You can run it every single time. And I don't have an issue with you, but you can't even. This is a circus. <laughs> It is. For real. For real. Like, I don't think the conversation that I'm going to have, I'm going to have a conversation. Like, for real. It's empty, y'all. I felt. Hey, yo, yo. What, what, what y'all doing here? We're just looking for you guys. I'm, I'm part of the. Uh... No, I don't even need to be recording over here. Nothing. Okay, so you guys were on. You guys are. Uh, you guys are. You guys are. You guys are. You guys are. You guys Y'all YouTube hoes weird as fuck. Weird as fuck. Yeah, y'all shouldn't be coming out. Ain't nobody no hoe. It ain't weird. Right, that's okay. I'm gonna just call the police. Call the police? No, 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 no. We ain't did nothing against the law. You can't be doing it. We caught it right there. We walked down through the deal. I'm gonna go. We walked down through the deal. That's okay. Let's go. Let's go. What do you want down through the deal? Let's go. 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 Bitch, bet. That's okay. Oh, bring it on. Oh, bring it on. Oh, bring it on. Bring it on. Okay. Hey, we recording the whole building, man. What? For what? Shit. You, 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 Don't worry about it.
Don't worry about it. Y'all see Shay not having that. Okay. Call the police. 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 Hey, ain't nobody said we can't record no building. Yeah, this is your business. We just walking down recording the building. Taking the name. I ain't got no name up on that building. Put a name up on the building. Then we won't record you. Put a name up there. Put a name up there. Put a name up there. Up there. Name up there. Name up there. Don't you worry about this. Don't worry about this. Come on, yeah. as you, you can, can put some new clothes on. As you can say, they're upset. Well, they really are. You know, you guys. This is Canvas Beauty. I ain't no name on no billings. Uh, and we're recording this yeah. one on it. This is y'all can see they cussed us out. We finally found Canvas Beauty Supply. All right, she's still coming. She's still coming. <laughs> ain't nobody talking right. about what you say. Be quiet, girl. Yeah. We're recording. Stop, man. Hey, girl. Hey. Yeah, you were. Yeah. Work, 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 work,